So for those of you who haven't heard, Smokin decided to make Mens Uber, which I don't really care about. I do agree that DD Mens is a little too perfect and Mixed Mens is kind of awesome. So I can't use Timothy here anymore, which really sucks. But which sucks even more is that recently I bred, let's go into my Pokemon I'm going to EP train soon, a Shiny Bagon. Yep, Shiny Bagon. Legit. I'll show the IVs right now because the IVs are incredible. I cannot use it. Bread it with Hydro Pump. Plan to make a Specs. I, 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 that, just, that, that sucks. I also got a shiny Swellow right here while I'm here. It's pretty cool. I found it I'm by training. I named it Jill. Side Vs are not as great. But what else? So yeah. Here's my battle. We got a battle against Hunt245, and apparently he doesn't know what PMing is. I was talking to him, and he was, and I was like, PMing for a battle, and he was like, what's PMing? And I was like, okay, whatever. So, so I leave with um, Uxie, lose Alkazam, and I'm just going to predict the Shadow Ball right off the bat and go into Paragon Z or the Trick. I could have taken either one, and I'm just going to go for the safe tri attack on the Alkazam, and switches into a Gyarados. Ooh, I caught up pretty fast. Yeah, so try attack on the Gyarados. Looks to be a 2-up KO, and I'm just going to risk it and go for it again, because even if this thing Dragon Dances, I know I can outspeed a standard Dragon Dancing Gyarados after a Dragon Dance. So it turns out not to be a 2-up KO, and he just barely survives, and then he shows me his Thunder Wave, and I'm like, oh, cool. Not standard set. Thunder Wave really surprised me there. So basically, my Porygon Z, my scarf is completely ruined, and I'm crippled for the rest of the match. And I'm just going to go for the try attack to hopefully finish this thing off, because from prior experience, I know I can take a Waterfall unboosted, but I get a pair of hacks, which eh, sucks, I guess. But it didn't really hurt me too much. Other hacks will hurt me, as you will soon see. So I go into for alligator to take the waterfall because I know I can, and I'm just gonna go for the safe ice punch hope because I because I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go for the thunder wave, predicting me to go for like source dance or dragon dance or something. So I go for the ice punch. He goes in the electivire smart move and it does a decent amount and stuff. And I'm just gonna predict the thunderbolt and go into flygon, my pop in here. So I know he's gonna think I'm scarfed and I'm gonna go for the earthquake, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna go for the U-turn because I love bluffing scarf on this thing. It's the funnest thing ever in Pokemon. So yep, U-turn and he goes he shows me his Charizard. So now I'm gonna send out my counter, which would be Porygon Z, who I'm just gonna go in as fodder to die. So I don't know why I said counter, not a counter, just fodder, just to die because I wanted to see if this thing was Bellyzard. I'm just gonna set up some substitutes so I can break him or something. But it turns out to be mixed Charizard because Life Orb. So I go into Uxie just to get up my rock so this thing will take a buttload of stealth rock damage when it comes back in. And he shows me his Mismagius. And I'm just going to predict the Shadow Ball again and go into um, Clefable here. And I'm just going to go for the T-Wave on the Switch or on the Mismagius. Anything would be nice. But he makes a smart move most of Licky Licky, which doesn't care about being slow because it already is incredibly slow. So I'm not sure this thing's going to do. So I'm just going to go back into Paraligator and hopefully set... No, yeah, go for the Wish right here just to see what this thing's going to do right here. And he gets Parahax, which doesn't help me because I want to see what this thing's going to do. So now I go into Feraligator just to get the wish off on Feraligator because it's kind of weak and it's literally the only thing that is weak at this point in the game. So, she, so he goes Gyro Ball, which does a decent amount even at the resistance thanks to the Para, so I kind of helped him there, which is kind of funny. So I get the wish off on Feraligator and now I'm just going to go for the Source and see what this thing wants to do. And he goes for the Power Rip, which I didn't even know, like, well I knew like could learn it, but it's like, how does it, wait, was it whipping me with its tongue or something? And then if it's whipping me with its tongue, isn't that lick and wouldn't it be grass type? But... So yeah, Power Whip, and I just go for the Earthquake to get decent damage on it, and I'm just going to predict the switch. Anyway, yeah, it goes for me first, I have no idea what... I, I don't even know what to say about that. So yeah, I predict the switch into Charizard or Miss Mismigius to take the Earthquake, and I just go for the Aqua Jet, which will take down the Mismigius, which is, which is a really smart play on my part. So hooray for me. The Mismigius goes down, and if Alligator will die too, Life Orb. So now we got what we call a Double Down, which is a kind of funny and lame name, but whatever. So I go into Flygon as he goes into his Gyarados and he gets the Intimidate off because he does barely live after the Stealth Rock damage, which really kind of annoyed me. So I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw to take this thing down because I'm pretty sure it's going to stay in. There's nothing really to do to me and I know I'm going to be faster. So now I goes into Alakazam and I really have to switch now. So I'm just going to go into my special wall Clefable here to take the Psychic because Clefable can take Psychics from an Alakazam, even Life Orb Alakazam. So I'm not I I'm praying this thing doesn't have focus blast. So I'm just gonna go for the wish again to see what this thing wants to do and he does have the focus blast and I'm like, oh crap but, and I actually live, which is funny. I live with how much I live with? I live with five HP and I go for the wish. 
So I know he's gonna go for the anything, doesn't really matter what he goes for, because I'm just gonna go into Uxie, because Uxie completely walls Alakazam. So I go into Uxie to take whatever this thing wants to do, and he goes for the energy ball, because the, the, that gets neutral damage on both of us. And I'm just gonna get my wish back and go back to full health, so looking pretty good for me. So I'm gonna for let screen, because then this thing is totally not a threat anymore. I know it can take three Shadow Ball, it, uh, a Shadow Ball will be a 3-8 KO, I know that for sure, because from prior experience, and he gets a crit, which really really matter it's it's one of the two crits that really mattered in this game and it really really annoys me so my oxy's low and i do get the light screen off which kind of helps and i'm just gonna go into celebi because we can take any hit from this thing with the light screen uh, even the shadow ball which only is like does like 100 damage so i'm just gonna go for the combine so this thing does even less damage makes a pretty good move and goes back into the evire and no i go for the lychee breaking the switch sorry i go for the yeah <laughs> i don't know what i'm thinking i go for the lychee breaking the switch and now i go for the calm mind because i want to see if this thing is mixed or not and i'm pretty sure it well most electivars are mixed but nah but he, he does show me as fire punch meaning he's not mixed because if it was mixed it at flamethrower so that calm mind is kind of useless except for the boosted damage on psychic which won't really which didn't really help epic spoilers so i get my leech seed and my lefties and my other after turn stuffs and now i'm just gonna go for a psychic use from the fire punch not gonna do much because celebi even with my crappy ivs so psychic will take down the evire and now he's going to go in to what's he gonna go into leftovers yes yeah, it goes into Charizard, and I was pretty sure I can take a Blaze um, Flamethrower just because I have the Light Screen and the Calm Mind, but I just don't, which is like, whoa, Charizard is awesome, god, Char Charizard's a god, or for Stealth Rocks, this thing would be like, oh, you, probably, so yeah, I died to that, which was like, damn, Charizard's a beast, so going to Flygon, because I know I can outspeed this thing, and even if not, whatever, and he does outspeed, which is a kind of surprise, and he does go for Hidden Power, I'm like, crap, Hidden Power Ice, but it's not, it's probably grass then that was so scared when i saw hidden power so it looks like this is a good game for me because uh, i do have the light screen up and i know alakazam can't kill me thanks to the light screen on psychic so he goes for the psychic and i'm like haha you won't kill me and guess what it keeps going and going he gets a crit which just won him the game because i could have killed the alakazam with outrage and then the kaliki would be no problem because i could just switch that even if i got the third turn and finish off the licky licky i was paralyzed it was no threat to my team but that crit single-handedly won him the game because my last two are Clefable and Uxie which are like really really weak and will die to the Alexam attack so that is a bad game that that bad game bye peace out nizzles good game I, I didn't mean the bad game thing peace out